Here we have a nice surface area problem for this composite figure, which looks like we have a cube and a square prism. So normally we would use the formulas. Um, let's see, talk about the cube one first. The surface area formula for a cube is six squares, so six sides squared. And the one for a pyramid is one base plus half of the perimeter times the slant height. <clears throat> okay, so these are formulas for the cube surface area and for a pyramid surface area respectively. But we have to take into account that the surface area is all the surfaces that you can touch. And if we have a pyramid stacked on top of a cube, we can't actually touch this fifth side of our cube. Right, so we can touch the bottom, we can touch the front, we can touch the left, the back, and the right but we can't touch the top. So our formula is just gonna be five S squareds because we can't actually touch that sixth side for our composite figure. Now over here, likewise, we can't touch the base of this pyramid. We can only touch the lateral surface area or the things that go up the side. <clears throat> so that's the only part of the pyramid that we can touch. So our formula for this entire composite is 5s squared times half of the perimeter times the slant height. Okay, because there are things in a composite that we can't actually touch. There are surfaces that we can't feel. Okay, so we have a side length of 5, so that goes down here in your side length, so 5 squared plus half of the perimeter, so the perimeter of our pyramid there is 5, 10, 15, 20, and it says it has a slant height of 4, so we put it right there. So 5 squared is 25, times 5 is 125, plus half of 20, that's 10, 10 times 4 is 40, so this composite figure would have a total surface area of 165 square inches. Remember, when we have composite things, <clears throat> things that are composed of more than one picture, you won't always be able to touch all of the surfaces, and you can only count the surfaces you can touch in the area. <clears throat>